Thank you, Sandy Roberts. Good afternoon to you. And also good afternoon to Richard Hay and Mark Osler joining me here in the commentary box. Formula Ford's up a little slower than the Group A cars, but plenty of the fireworks when they get together on top of the mountain. They always put on a good race here. 1989 was the last time they were here, and that was an absolute cracker, that race. So I'm certainly looking forward to this one today. Well, you're used, obviously, Richard, to uh, Formula Fords and the festival in the UK. That They're more like demolition derbies. They certainly are. Formula Ford racing is very big over there. But the interesting thing is the class of the field this year in the British series has been Russell Ingall, who, of course, you may remember uh, won the Australian Championship. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the uh, field now as the Formula Fords come around through Caltech's chase. We'll check out the grid for you. Ron Searle has pole with a 227.78. Matthew Howard starts out of position number two and John Blanchard from position number three. Gary Jones out of position number four in the Swift from five, it's Don Griffiths. Starting out of six, Stephen Moody in the Van Diemen from seven, it's Andrew Reid. From position number eight, Michael Dutton from nine, it's Paul Mulhern. And rounding out the top ten, Con Taparis and the Reynard. But a very, very strong field, just over 30 starters. Under 10 seconds off the start, eight laps. The Formula Ford race here at uh, Mount Panorama Bathurst. And off the starting line. Ron Searle away pretty smartly. Here's the drag now to the first corner. It's uh, Fuji Hill Corner. Great angle as they come through there and work their way up Mountain Straight for the first time. So just about all of them through the turn. Yes, they are. Past the sand trap and now up Mountain Straight. Good start from Ron Searle off pole position. <laughs> this is where you see the big speed differential between Formula Fords and those 600 horsepower touring cars. They really do struggle on the straights, but once they get on top of the mountain, there's nothing in them. These cars are very quick across the top. Yeah, little 1600cc Ford engines, and uh, one of the great things about this class of motor racing is it's all so close. Look at them all there as they make their way up the mountain. High speed train pouring up the hill for the first time. Ron Searle, the pole man in first. Matthew Howard tucking into second and John Blanchard and the Swift in third place. Two BP cutting and the run to uh, Tui's Ben now. Searle actually got away very smartly. I think opened the gap over uh, Matthew Howard heading up uh, pit straight and into uh, BP cutting, yes. That, and actually, that's opened up, although John Blanchard looks like he's fairly close to the tail of uh, Matthew Howard running there in third spot. Ooh, Matthew Howard gets a few wiggles on there. It's a very good performance from Howard. He hasn't been seen very much this year. This is a, an updated 86 Van Diemen. And he was talent spotted by Mike Quinn of the Phoenix Motorsport Operation. And he's giving him a run here at Bathurst. And he's certainly uh, showing a lot of form. Second place in qualifying and looking very competitive in the race here now. Not too much between the top three as they come down to uh, Mazda Corner, Forest Elbow. And now heading on uh, for the run down Conrod Strait for the first time. Ron Searle was saying yesterday he was confident of winning this race with his main adversaries of the year, Troy Dunstan, Brett Peters, uh, out of the race. Um, he should do quite well, and he's certainly doing it here, holding first place as they head down Conrod's for the first time. Great speed shot here. Searle and the Reynard still leads them. Blanchard under a little pressure here on the inside. That's Don Griffiths, Ron Searle's teammate, the second Phoenix Reynard. He's ducked in the inside, so Blanchard gets pushed back to fourth. And now we have this high-speed four-car train which they tend to do around this place. Under the Bridgestone Bridge. Still Ron Searle, the race leader. Matthew Howard and the Van Diemen runs in second. That great scrap there for third. Uh, got a little bit sideways there and uh, lost a little bit of time. There's a prima holiday replay towards the tail of the field. Wow. Here two, you two connecting there. Can't actually catch the number for you. But that was at the tail of the field coming up uh, Mountain Straight for the first time. Both drivers out of their cars. Ron Searle has made a little break on the field as they head up the hill for the second time. Ron enjoying the power from some Steve Dewhurst engines. The Phoenix team have a, an exclusive engine supply deal with Steve Dewhurst. And uh, Ron's very confident this engine's got the goods for the mountain. Great track cam shot as they go over the top of the camera. Heading up to BP Cutting. This circuit really is unique for the Formula Ford runners in Australia. They have to dust off some gear ratios out of their toolbox that they wouldn't use on a racetrack anywhere in Australia. That'd be pretty long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's interesting when you watch them down the straight as well. The car's also evenly matched. Slip streaming is very important for these guys. The car in front makes a hole in the air and the guy behind sits in it 
and he gets a tow along and then you'll see as they come towards the corner he'll try and nip out of the slipstream from behind the car there and, and just oh. put himself past <laughs> Don Griffiths, here he be he threw the 2WS sweeper that time, he really did get it loose some great shots here from our uh, chopper cam heading down towards um, Forest Elbow so Blanchard's dropped off his leading pack a little bit Once again through Mazda corner. There's Gary Jones in the Swift, tax onto the back of Don Griffith. Haven't seen Gary in Formula Ford for a couple of years. He's been running a production car, Falcon, with um, great success. But he's back in a Formula Ford for this celebrity race. Managing to hold Griffiths out as they head down to the sweeper. Another incident here. Bruin Beasley, I believe, in car number 98. Wham! That's the escape road, but he caught the concrete with the tail of the car. Prima Holiday replay there for you. That was the second time heading up uh, Mountain Straight. In the meantime, Ron Searle. And just as they ducked out of shot there, it looks like um, the second place car has taken the lead. Yep. yep. So, Matthew Howard takes the lead from Ron Searle. Good performance this. There's Gary Jones tucked in in third, Don Griffiths and John Blanchard. This to a Formula 4 driver must seem like ages it takes to get to the top <laughs> of the mountain. Here's the lead um, change back on as Ron Searle slips to the outside of Matthew Howard and Jim, regains the lead. Sorry Michael, because I remember Jim Richards talking about driving a Formula 4 who said it was you put it in top gear and read a book and wait for the next corner to come up. Very wide on the exit there. Starting to close up back behind the two leaders, but Ron Searle with the lead back again, and right behind him, Matthew Howard. Nothing between these two, through BP cutting and the run up now to, uh, to his bend. John Blanchard, still there in third. And a couple closing up behind Blanchard, including Gary Jones. Matthew Howard would be experienced at uh, leading a high-speed train. He works for the State Rail Authority as a train driver when he's not on the racetrack. <laughs> Can't top that. <laughs> Once again, over the top of Skyline. He's getting very close to Searle as they barrel down the mountain. Just recapping, Ron Searle is your race leader in car number seven, and right behind him, Matthew Howard, the man who shared the front row with him. They've traded the lead... Uh, during this event and you get the impression that uh, that Howard's car seems to have a little more top end at the, uh, the end of Conrod Gary Jones in third place and Blanchard now back to fifth Jones has made a little bit of a, a, a break on the fourth place man Don Griffiths now and as long as these two carry on fighting like this he just might get the chance to catch up with them sitting in the draft now heading down to Caltex Chase Certainly allowing Searle to do all of the uh, the work. Sits in the draft. Back beneath the Bridgestone Bridge. If anything, I think maybe Jones uh, has gained a little, as you say. Certainly a little closer this time down the Conrod Strait. Ron Searle hanging on to the lead. 26-year-old driver from Sydney. Director of the Transtar Express Transport Company running this 89 model Reynard for a number of years now. Again in uh, motocross. And he shared a Corolla here last year with Peter Verhaeyen in the Tui's 1000. So Ron drives a number of different vehicles. Certainly enjoys his motor racing and uh, quite a good steerer by the look of it. Notice how Matthew Howard was able to get closer down Conrod. And once again, as soon as they head up mountain straight, it's Ron Searle who's able to pull away. They've got about half distance for down and four laps still remain what amazing uh, on saturday here at uh, mount panorama when the uh, formula fords are on you usually see a lot of open wheeler fans here not necessarily are they touring car fans i'll come up and watch the formula fords run and they really have spread themselves out yeah it is a bit of a problem sometimes when these guys get linked up you get a five or six car nose to tail battle 
And uh, as Richard said, you've got one car making a hole through the air and this high-speed train charging around the track, which is very spectacular. But at the moment, they seem to have um, spaced themselves out and they will tend to hold station in this situation. Going through the 2WS sweeper. And that's interesting how it has pulled out at least two or yeah. three car lengths as they got across Skyline. So he's a little bit faster down the hill. Certainly a, a very aggressive driver. And uh, hopefully we'll see him in the Driver of the Europe Series next year. begs the question, can in fact Matthew Howard pull back the race leader, Ron Searle? With about uh, a lap and a quarter remaining. Well, he's got a lot of work to do. We saw how long it took Gary Jones to climb up in the back of Howard initially, so I guess you'd be looking at the same sort of time frame to get up to first place. That is, of course, unless uh, Searle might make a mistake somewhere along here. Well, he hasn't made one since the race started. These two guys have been at each other's throats. We're just on seven and a quarter laps. And here's the top three. Ron Searle, your race leader, coming down. Matthew Howard back in second, and Gary Jones right behind him. And I'll acknowledge the last lap board as they go across the line beneath the Tui's Bridge. this time Jones behind Howard but he's trying the same trick he's not quite close enough to take advantage of that slipstream though so Howard will lead him up the hill they're both very cleanly through uh, the last turn heading up to the cutting it's been a piece of cake actually for Ron Searle he was challenged for uh, probably half a lap by Matthew Howard, lost the lead, regained it. Has been able to dance away from these two. It's a slower car just ahead of them. This might cause a bit of excitement for them both. Oh, it's light again, isn't it, in the tail? Geez, there's a lot of road coming in there. Great chopper shot as they come down towards uh, Forest Elbow. Gap about the same, really. Second back to third. And Ron Searle in no danger of uh, losing this race. Coming in very late under brakes. You can hear them chattering as he was right on the limit. Turning into the corner. Probably not the fastest way out of the elbow. There's Ronnie Searle. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Look very similar, though. Still heading down to uh, Caltex Chase. Here he comes now. Coming up to lap Nigel Bryan. So Ron has made this look very easy. The Transtar Reynard comes down to the last corner. And a good win to, uh, to Ronnie Searle. Coming up to take the chequered flag, so it'll be Searle across the line. Matthew Howard picking up second and Gary Jones third. John Blanchard not too far back behind those. So Ronnie Searle picking up the Formula Ford trophy race here at uh, Mount Panorama. We'll check them out for you on our Caltex race score. Searle the race winner, Matthew Howard takes second. Gary Jones third. John Blanchard finished in fourth. And finishing off in fifth spot was Donnie Griffiths.